Good morning. Welcome back to the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, got a good one for you. A water leak. Not a frozen pipe, not a under the sink leak. Got a call. I was eating breakfast, seven o'clock in the morning. Got a call. The guy was in hysterics. His voice was quivering. He's like, hey, handyman, handyman, there's water spread all over my basement and it's getting all my, all my stuff wet. Can you come save me? I will absolutely come save you. It is a flexible water supply to a water heater. You've seen them. They've got that braided stainless steel wiring over the rubber hose. Probably have them hooked up to your washing machine. So this is what they're working with. Flexible water line here. You can see the failure point right there. Uh, I just shut the water off. They've got a water shut off right here. It's quite the CPVC system here. They've got water shut offs everywhere, which is kind of good. But we're going to replace this right now. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped makes a full line of men's grooming and hygiene products. For some reason, when men get to a certain age, they start growing large quantities of hair out of their ears. Manscaped offers a solution for that. This is their Weed Whacker. It's got a 9,000 RPM motor, 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Lithium ion battery, lasts up to 90 minutes. I don't think it would take 90 minutes. If you got to spend 90 minutes on your ear hair, yeah, you got problems. This is their Nail Shears 2.0 kit. It's nothing nastier than a man with long, dirty fingernails. One of the worst things to do as a YouTuber is have long, dirty fingernails when you're on camera fixing things. It even comes with some tweezers uh, for pulling out splinters if you get a splinter. You can get 20% off and free shipping if you use my code and the link in the description. It'll also be in the first pinned comment in case you get lost. But first, I gotta release the water pressure to get this from spraying because I got to take this hose out. Turn the water on and it instantly stops leaking because you're taking the pressure out of it. There's like an actual vacuum in there now. You can hear water sucking. Sometimes the rubber hose gets pushed in there, or the rubber washer. So this is the rubber washer. The rubber washer looks in decent shape. This is what creates the seal when there's not a hole in the pipe. It is just like a garden hose. That's what creates your water seal. So they've got Teflon tape here. Some people say it's to lubricate the threads so that they don't corrode, but I've never really seen brass fittings corrode. For some reason, this is like got uh, oil all over it. Could be just because it's breaking down and it's so old. But again, this rubber O-ring is what makes the seal here, not the Teflon tape. I get that in every, every plumbing video. People ask, well, why didn't you put Teflon tape on a compression fitting? This is a type of a compression fitting because you need to compress that rubber O-ring to seal it up. There's some weird, funky stuff growing on the inside of it. This is what I'm going to replace it with. This costs only $1 more than the flexible lines. It still makes its connection with the rubber O-ring, but less likely to, to break down. The pressure is built back up, but I believe the water heater is missing some water, and it's a good possibility this old school expansion tank is missing some water. So I'm going to crack this open. All right. You do not, this is bad. This to this is bad. This CPVC can snap right off. So must be just me moving this around a little bit, broke that seal. So the job got a little bit, a little bit more involved. All right, well, just realized we had 
an audio issue and I'm hoping <laughs> that the first part of this video isn't completely ruined but uh, so this is what we're doing we're just duplicating what they had with new parts and non-flexible parts and this is how it goes just like that again CPVC is pretty f fragile you don't want to get things cross-threaded Take your time with this thing. All right, well, I wanted to jump in here quickly to explain these flexible hoses. Why are they here? Why are, am I using them? Even though this is solid copper, it's still flexible. In a lot of areas of the world that have basements, the, um, the ground moves up and down. You have to have a flexible connection for anything that is sitting on the basement floor and attached to the rest of the house. Because the house doesn't go up and down, but the slab on grade basement floor does go up and down. Anything that's got a gas hookup, like a gas dryer, a boiler, or a furnace has to have a flexible gas line. All water heaters have to have some sort of flexible connection. So when that basement floor goes up and that water heater goes up, but the house doesn't, you don't have burst pipes. So that's why in my videos, you will never see a union connecting a gas line or a water line to an appliance that is resting on a basement floor. All right, the packing nut is gushing. Nothing here, nothing there, nothing up there. The water heater turned back on. Gonna get some fans going in here. Looks like our packing nut is still sealed up here. I'll keep an eye on that. Back to the workshop. That crimp fitting there. This is crimped onto a rubber hose. That's the part that started leaking. Again. Most likely you have one of these hooked up to your washing machine. Go check it. And I don't know, it's like leaking out. You can see I've got like oil. It's like breaking down and leaking out. It's kind of crazy. I'm very tempted to cut this open on the bandsaw. Heck, let's just do it. Let's do a little bone, a little bonus material. That's the inside of it right there. It's definitely ew, breaking down. I don't know, I've never cut one of these open. Let's, uh, let's investigate further. There's the fitting end. I'll just throw that right there. Let me get this off. Poked myself. This thing is just oozing. Getting real thin. I'll show you right here, it's a real thin spot. I don't know if you guys can get an idea how thin that is. And that strange buildup on the inside of there. It's got Chinese finger cuffs. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this does not happen to you. Go check your flexible water hoses. Again, I've said it a million times, you're gonna have them at your water heater or you're gonna have them at your washing machine. It's kind of a crazy Saturday. I'm, I'm off to replace some garage door springs. Ugh, that's so disgusting. Uh, will not be putting that on this channel. It will be on my Instagram stories, which will probably have been expired by the time this video goes up. So that's why you should follow me on Instagram 
to see interesting things uh, that happen behind the scenes that don't make it to YouTube. Ugh. Goodbye.